In 2021, the AV receiver industry has been faced with a strange combination of the COVID-19 pandemic, chip shortages, and the dreaded HDMI 2.1 bug that plagued many of the 2020 models. This resulted in many manufacturers skipping it in terms of new releases, with Sound United being the most obvious example because Danon and Marantz both had only limited updates for some of their previous models. Only the SR815 of Marantz's four AV receivers that were released in 2020 has been tested so far, and it's the last one, the other three being the SR5015, the SR6015, and the SR7015, which all got good marks from us, and hopefully the SR815 will continue this trend, with Marantz being historically a brand that has a lot of recognition and respect from fans in this field. Marantz's only 11.2 channel AV receiver can be extended to 13.2 channels with an external amplifier. In terms of audio, we get Dolby Atmos, DTS-X, DTS-X Pro, Emacs Enhanced, and Oro 3D. There are additional features on the SR815 as well, such as Dolby Surround and DTS Neural, except mixing technologies, Dolby Atmos Height Virtualization, and DTS Virtual. X Virtual Technologies, Odyssey Malt EQ XT32, High Resolution Audio, EOS, and AirPlay 2, Voice Control, and Custom Integration, USB, Online, and Upgraded Bluetooth Streaming. As with all the other 2020 releases, it includes HDMI 2.1, which allows 4K at 120Hz and 8K at 60Hz pass-through, ALM VRR, QMS, QFT, and eARC pass-through. However, it also comes with the usual problems we have discussed before and will discuss in the appropriate section. Without further delay, let's move on to SR815. As Marantz's flagship receiver, the SR815 offers the most comprehensive audio format support available today in an AV receiver. In addition to Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, we get Dolby Surround and DTS Neural X upmixing technologies so that simple stereo tracks can be mixed into true surround sound. In addition, we get Dolby Height Virtualization and DTS Virtual X support for virtual technology. The purpose of virtual technologies is to create virtual speakers in a space where there are no actual speakers and create the illusion of sound through the use of special algorithms and processing. Obviously, the result is not the same as having actual speakers, but it can be a good alternative in many cases, especially if you cannot place speakers on the ceiling, for example. It is important to note that Dolby Atmos height virtualization can be used for both Dolby Digital and DTS Audio. DTS Virtual X, on the other hand, can only be used with DTS tracks, so Dolby's offering seems to have the upper hand. It is also a bit tricky to find out how to enable Dolby Atmos height virtualization since there is no direct button to do so. To enable it, go to the main menu, audio section, and locate the surround parameter. It is there that you will find the speaker virtualizer, which you must enable before using one of the Dolby Surround Sound modes. By doing so, Dolby's virtualizer will be enabled. It may seem slightly confusing at first if you haven't done it before, but this is how you do it. Furthermore, the SR815 supports DTS-X Pro, a similar format to DTS-X but with more speakers, a Max Enhanced, and Aura 3D. So you get everything that is currently available with its built-in amplifiers with a theoretical 140 watts of power. The SR815 supports up to 11 channels. As most AV receivers nowadays, the receiver is capable of powering dual subwoofer setups. With the supported channels, you can create up to a 7.2, 4 channels Dolby Atmos audio setup. However, if you add an external 2-channel amplifier, you can go with a 7.2, 6 channels or a 9.2, 4 channel setup. Whenever we get a receiver that supports Atmos, we set up a 7.1 4-channel setup with a single SVS SB2000 Pro subwoofer placed in the front left corner of our testing area and four ceiling speakers for the overhead layer. In this testing movie, we tested the new movie Dune in 4K UHD, which includes a grand Dolby Atmos mix. The receiver has no shortage of power, as you can see right away. Our attention is immediately drawn to the first sandworm encounter and the SR815 makes it seem so epic. Almost as if the sandworm would emerge in our testing room, the front sound stage suddenly came to life with excellent handling of all elements. Dialogue was clear and very distinct. Even when the sandworm was about to shallow the spice harvester on the ornithopter flight, all the actor lines were distinct, 
and very much isolated in the center without overlapping with the other effects. The voice articulation and tone of the voice were very natural, and the Atmos performance was just as impressive. The four height speakers provided the necessary height and certainly enhanced the overall experience. With Dune's grand size scenes and structures, the added extension above us gave us a better sense of size and magnitude. Atmos effects weren't as evident as surrounds, but the receiver handled everything above us superbly. With its low-end performance, the SR815 did not make any compromises, and in conjunction with our subwoofer, we were constantly bombarded by low-end madness. It sounded perfect from the roar of the ornithopter's engines to the flapping of its wings as Atrage transported freighters to their home base and headquarters. The receiver provided all the low-end information necessary and surely kept us on the edge of our seats. SR815 is a masterful handler of base activity for a film of this nature. SR815 has 140 watts of power, so you can push the volume to unsettling levels if you like. When you have more speakers connected, the power output will decrease, so in this case you can use the preamplifier mode and you can connect better external amplifiers to push your system to its maximum. As far as we were concerned, the internal amplifiers were sufficient, at least according to our standards. Music is one of the most famous characteristics of Marantz AV receivers, and the SR815 retains all of the qualities that made the previous model so popular. Due to this, this receiver supports both lower quality audio formats such as MP3, WMA and ASC as well as high-resolution audio formats such as FLAC, ALAC, and WAV up to 192K HD at 24-bit resolution. As usual, DSD streaming is available at both 2.8 and 5.6 MHz. For this testing, as we usually do, we selected a few favorites in FLAC format that we streamed through the front USB port for the best quality possible. Marantz receivers tend to have a similar sound signature and tone because they have the same internal components. As we had tested all of the previous 2020 Marantz releases, we knew more or less what to expect. The front sound stage was just as good as we anticipated. We could really be writing thousands of words here and trying to describe the receiver's performance, but to appreciate its real potential, one needs to hear it. With pinpoint accuracy, each detail was rendered faithfully. Every instrument was reproduced naturally, and everything was placed in the right space. The front channels had perfect separation, while stereo panning effects felt impressive as ever. The vocals carried all the right emotions. I felt anger, sadness, anxiety, and happiness in the performance. The mid-range was rock solid, keeping everything tight together while the bass was exactly the right amount of weight to it, not too heavy and not too light. We tried a few different genres just for fun, even though we already knew what we were looking for, it was as if it knew just the right balance. Jazz turned to pop, rock turned to classical, electronics turned to AC slash DC, and we finished with AC slash DC. As if the SR815 was mocking us in our attempt to abuse it with songs we thought would push it to its limits, it didn't break a sweat. The Marantz stood there like a rock waiting to handle the next bits we threw at it carefully. Simply astonishing. It is an excellent AV receiver, whether it be used for movies or music, its true purists prefer separates. But if you're more of a package guy, you won't go wrong with this one. It's simply amazing regardless of the source material. In addition to being a worthy flagship and having everything a title like this brings with it, the SR815 also shows the standards that Marantz has built its reputation on for one more year. SR815 offers everything you would expect from a top-notch model and more. In addition to plenty of power, it supports all commercially available sound formats, has excellent sound output, and has an extensive list of features to satisfy even the most demanding users. Are there any downsides to such a beast? Not much to say here to be honest. We'd like to nitpick here, but when you pay such a high price you expect the best. Both the HDMI 2.1 bug and the inclusion of just one HDMI 2.1 port in pre-made 2021 models will surely leave a bad taste in the mouth. Sound United address both of these issues, but they remain main unit issues. Additionally, a motion-sensitive backlight remote would be great, but adding a cooling solution to keep the temperatures down would certainly add to the price tag already high enough. Marantz's SR815 is definitely a good choice if you would like everything all in one box and prefer to be in the premium category. There's no doubt that you will get a cinematic audio experience that is unique with this piece of audio equipment. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like it if you did. If you're new here, click the subscribe button.
Wishing you all the best until the next video.